One of the critical skills in preparing for interviews and finding places to apply is knowing how to research firms properly. It doesn't matter if you're looking for an internship or if you're recruiting for a buy side firm, there's a couple of things you should keep in mind to make sure you have a rounded understanding of the firm you're trying to recruit for. If you don't do this kind of research, if you don't put in the effort to diligence the firms you're recruiting for, you might have a misconception about what they're actually like to work for. I think there's a couple of publicly available websites as well as factors to keep in mind so you can really research a firm properly before you get into the interview room. And really, there's a couple of key benefits that you'll get from researching these firms. The first is that it'll prepare you for the qualitative aspects of interviews. We've talked about how the question of why do you want to work here being so important, and the way you answer that question thoughtfully is by doing the research. Secondly, doing research will allow you to tailor your outreach. When you're sending cold emails, when you're sending LinkedIn messages, the messages that are going to have the higher response rate are the ones that have actual information embedded into them. It's much more effective if you can reach out to someone and say something like, hey, I saw that you guys made this biotech growth equity investment a couple of months ago. This is a space that I'm really interested in. I'm wondering if we could just chat for a couple of minutes. Having that kind of effort and putting that kind of research into your outreach is going to improve your response rate dramatically. And thirdly, I think doing this kind of research will help you benchmark different firms more easily. By virtue of reading through these different websites and checking these databases, you'll start to develop your own mental picture of the firms you want to work for. So I think there's three categories of opinions that you want to consider as you're researching a firm. There's going to be the firm's opinion, which is the company's representation of itself. There's going to be the industry opinion or the public opinion, which is how they're sort of pictured in the media, as well as what I'll call the internet opinion. That is kind of like the opinion of anonymous people that tend to be online on places like Glassdoor, Reddit, and I guess the YouTube comments below. And really the first thing you wanna do is try to understand the business model. How does this firm make money? For private equity, that's gonna be pretty intuitive. You're gonna to wanna to understand the kind of investments they do, the size that they deploy in terms of capital, as well as the fund size and the industries that they like to invest in. You also try to wanna to hone in on the growth areas. Have they made any recent acquisitions? Have they focused or announced new parts of their business? And thirdly, I would say you want to be concerned with employee logistics. Where are the offices that they have? Are they in locations that you would be willing to work in? How many employees do they typically hire per year? When you check on LinkedIn, are most of the hires made in the last couple of years? Because that would imply a high sense of attrition. I think through all of this, you want to try to accomplish two coffee chats for every firm that you're seriously considering, because that'll give you a good sense of what the firm really thinks about itself. Second, I would look at what I'll call the industry opinion. So you want to look at the recent performance of the business. If it's a private equity firm, have they been successively raising larger and larger funds? If they're an investment bank, have they remained active? Are they still doing cool and interesting deals? I think it's good to check salary databases, places like H1B data or CalPERS if you're looking for the return performance of a private equity fund. If you're going to a venture capital firm or startup, check on Crunchbase to see how the funding has been, what the general opinion is of these companies. And then I always just try to skim a couple of quick articles to see if there's any scandals, to see if there's any scathing bad articles about them online. The last place that you want to look, and I put them last because I think by virtue of being anonymous, sometimes the credibility of these places are not as solid. But I would say Glassdoor and Reddit, someplace like Financial Careers, is a decent place to go for the general opinion of firms. If you Google most firms and then say the word internship or offer, you'll probably get a thread maybe on Wall Street Oasis about this company. And that can give you kind of an indication of what the firm is like. I will spread some minor caution because as I've learned growing up, a lot of these forums can be composed of people that are mostly in college and you might not always be getting a truly valid opinion about that firm. I still think it's good as a gut check. It's important to see what ex-employees are saying and what other competitors think of that firm. I think it's just good to be careful because anyone can post something online. So when I'm preparing for an interview, I like to be meticulous with my note taking. I'll show you how I like to take notes on companies and just keep them organized. So let's take a look at a sample company. And I just went through today's term sheet and I was looking for a private equity firm that I know but I'm not too familiar with. And I found a company called JLL Partners. So what we're gonna do is visit its website, try to look for a couple of articles to get a sense for its fund size and recent deals. And I'm gonna type up some notes and show you afterwards the kind of research I do before looking at a firm. So first things first, so JLL focuses on LBOs as well as leverage recaps, and they focus primarily on the middle market. 
It was founded in 1987. That was the original boom for private equity. So a lot of the older funds were created around then and they have 4.7 billion in AUM. So I'm just gonna click into the website. It might be helpful to quickly look over their investment strategy, but a lot of this is going to be relatively boilerplate. It says the firm has a long standing experience in healthcare, industrials and business services. So I'm gonna take note of this as well. Now, what I think is really important is that for every firm you recruit for, you wanna know one portfolio company relatively well. And that means being able to speak to its business model as well as sort of the transaction structure from a high level. And what I would do is just take a quick look at these companies and see if there's any industry that you're kind of familiar with. And for me, I recognize the name Pathion um, because it was on the Toronto Stock Exchange. So this is one I'll take a note of. I'll go through not only what they have on the website, but I'll try to Google this article later as well. I also like to check the team. Specifically, I wanna check uh, who's still involved. Is it sort of the managing partner that originally founded the firm? Or has there been new leadership that came about? I also like to check where the mid-level and junior people have come from because that gives you a sense for what is really possible, what kind of credentials you need to work at this firm, as well as if you sort of qualify for that. So the second thing I do after checking the website is just to go on Google and then look for a couple of articles that talk about the company. This can let us know what the firm has been doing lately. Any recent portfolio companies they've bought might be sort of an indicator for where the firm is headed. This website talks about the fund size that they set for themselves, so fund eight. It talks about the fund growth. You know, fund growth is something that's extremely important. It's a great sign that JLL has continued to raise its overall fund size. It also gives us the IRR. This is another important figure that we're gonna to wanna to take down as well. And 20.4%, that's a good IRR. That means this fund has been performing well. So we've got the firm opinion, we've checked the website, we've checked LinkedIn, and we've checked for the industry opinion, looking at a couple of news articles. The next thing I wanna do is check a couple of these key databases. So just collecting a couple of data points, a lot of these firms, they're not gonna have an incredibly large amount of entries because private equity firms are pretty small, but checking something like the H1B database can give you a sense for if that firm takes on international hires as well as what the base salary is going to be. I'll also check Glassdoor as well as Wall Street Oasis to see if there's been any threads or mentions of this company. And the last thing I'll do is just quickly research into that one deal, making sure I can speak about one transaction in relatively good detail. So what I'm trying to do here is understand the transaction structure as well as be able to quickly describe what the business does. So one thing I noticed here is that Thermo Fisher is the acquirer of Pathion. That means they bought out this portfolio company. So every time a public company does a deal, they must have an investor presentation. So I'm gonna look for Pathion investor presentation. And I, yes, so this is the very first hit by Thermo Fisher. This is gonna give me a good understanding exactly what they were thinking of when they made the transaction. So here's what I ended up taking down for JLL. And really, this is just a summary of what we read through. We want to make sure we understand the fund size, the investment size, kind of a sense for what the organization is like, and then a lot of research on one particular company just so we have something to speak about. And what I like to do is when I'm in the interview waiting room or before I meet someone for a coffee chat, I'll just have this nice organized sort of list of notes that I can easily reference. Well, now you know how I like to research firms. Again, I think it's a really important step that you should take when you're preparing for any interview. As always, you can check out our free blog posts online. We also have a private equity recruiting course that's filled with LBO models, case studies, as well as headhunter coverage list. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.